डिग्निटी ऑन द डेस ऑफ द डेस और जो आयु और अनुभव में मुझसे बड़े हैं उनको सादर प्रणाम वी आर इन द एंड ऑफ अगस्त मंथ नेक्स्ट मंथ इज सेप्टेम्बर एंड ऑल दोज हु आर इन द मेटल एंड माइनिंग इंडस्ट्री दे लुक फॉर दिस मंथ हैज वन ऑफ द मंथ वेयर वी वर्शिप आवर मशीन्स एंड लॉर्ड विश्वकर्मा सेवनटीन सेप्टेम्बर वी ऑल नो लॉर्ड विश्वकर्मा हैज अ डॉटर कॉल संजना एंड शी वॉज मैरिड टू सन गॉड लॉर्ड सन सो वंस अपॉन ए टाइम Lord Vishkarma asked Sanjana how your has married life been and she replied that you have married me to a person who is so bright so luminous that i'm not able to sit beside him and lord vishkarma reduced the brilliance of sun by 1/8 or 1/10 and created many weapons so that sun chakra trishul and all of us who are in india we read lot of scriptures where the fight of good over evil is is concluded with either lord shiva killing the demon with trishul or lord vishnu using the sudarshan chakra in today's time if you see the demon is climate change carbonization and we look forward to lord sun again either in form of solar energy or in grid hydrogen so the rescue is lord sun again and these are the critical minerals which are required for combating those issues related to decarbonization or cleaner energy or or the ease of life also and as previous speakers have spoken about uh, that these are criticals uh, the supply and all those things are uncertain china has story has also been spoken about that uh, it controls around 72% of world solar modules 69% of lithium iron batteries the beauty of this slide is that as we are from the metal and mining industry and mostly from the science background we know that every problem comes with certain solutions also and we believe in solving those complex issues so we know the solutions uh, how it has to go about it but we also need that there are certain minerals which are required for combating those challenges and if you look at the data Uh, by 2040 uh, in terms of index uh, lithium 42 graphite 25 cobalt 21 nickel 10 19 and rare earth 7 so these are the materials which will be required in 2040 for sustainable development scenario compared to 2020 uh, and it reminds me uh, a famous couplet of ahmed faraz ki raat jab kisi khurshid ko kare shahid to subah ek naya suraj tarash lati so each problem has its solution and, and we are knowing that how to go about it only thing is to understand uh, the dynamics and the criticality of these critical minerals so if you see in terms of economic importance and supply risk niobium strontium silicon these are the minerals which are on that quadrant and others are also equally important but these are the Slight, these are the minerals which are on the different zone of supply risk versus economic importance uh, india is also not bad in terms of rare earth reserves but then yes a lot of uh, work has to be done and previously we have discussed about the exploration and uh, this needs to be uh, expedited again as honorable minister he also spoken about it when he was referring of core library of australia uh, these are the uh, as Mr. Dipendra Singh was mentioning that critical, the very important par- part, which he was asking, where you need, how you need, and when you need. So I also lead literature a lot, and uh, I find a simil- simile in 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 Nida Fazli ki tere jahan mein aisa nahi ki pyar na ho, jahan ummid ho iski wahan nahi milta. So rare earth and these critical minerals are also like that. You won't find where you need it. and country like india where the challenge is more in terms of per capita energy consumption or per capita steel consumption which honorable minister steel also spoke about that though we have taken a jump of 50% from 54 to 75 but still we are lagging behind the world average of more than 200 and if we have to make every indian at par with world average of different minerals and commodities probably we needing more and more minerals more and more uh, resources also 
And that, that's, the, that's the point here that many people when they say that we are going for RE and others, uh, the mining will be over. Uh, it is not so. You need uh, six times more minerals in electric car than a conventional car and you need nine times more minerals in an offshore, onshore wind plant than the normal plant. So this is the scenario where you'll be needing more and more mining. Only thing, the way, the pattern, the mode, that will change. But mining is going to continue in mainstay as different type of minerals will be required to meet the uh, requirement. And there the exploration and, 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 the, and the resource optimization is needed. And which Earth Shastra also says that shale shale na manikyam moktim na gaje gaje sadho nahi sarvatta chandan na bane bane. So each forest doesn't have a sandal and each rock doesn't have mineral. So uh, we need to find out uh, different minerals and explore in a way that we get the desired mineral output and desired mineral resources. So these are the minerals required for green energy technology, uh, if you see in terms of solar, wind and technology. But the important point is that whether you need minerals for energy security or for storage, you need material for transmission others. So steel, aluminium, copper, they are going to stay for, for these requirements as a bridge between storage and, 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 and the production. So Indian uh, scenario is also similar. These are the data for 2020 and 2040. And uh, I don't want to read each and every mineral in terms of its share. That, that is there in the book which I have, which my article is there, you can go through. And then we have also categorized uh, the zone-wise, uh, the mineral which are required for the high importance and high supply risks. Uh, the earlier slide was mostly on the global scenario. This is typical in terms of Indian context. And that, that signifies that where the India needs to make its strategy very clear to, to meet the objectives of clean energy. And the Honorable Prime Minister, what he has given the concept of Panchamrit, which was also uh, highlighted by uh, Arvind Sahib. So these are the uh, strategy which the different country is taking. Kabil has always been spoken about how Indian government is signing an MOU and has taken it forward. So I don't want to repeat it again. Australia and other countries have also their own plan to, to, to meet the required uh, minerals on that. Uh, most of the uh, for way forward or the takeaways are similar, so I'm not repeating it. The resilient uh, supply chain initiative, India is an important part of Quad, and we all know in recent uh, geopolitical scenario, at least before Russia-Ukraine conflict, and afterwards also Quad is playing an important role and I'm sure India is going to get benefit out of that uh, partnership. And these are the things Joshi Shah has also mentioned, so uh, I should not be repeating it. My only uh, point from here is we are speaking, speaking about Aat Nirbhar Bharat, which Honorable Prime Minister has given a call. But if you look at Bhagavad Gita, Chapter 6, Shlok 5, it says that Udharet Atmana Atmanam Natmanam Bhav Sadiet Atmev Yatmano Bandhur Atme Repuratmana. So there is a good, there is a bad inside me, inside everyone. Only thing when you come come over the bad by expanding your goodness, then you become self-reliant, self-dependent and Atmirabhar. Thank you.